Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to Co-op Comedy. Uh, with me, I'm Nathan Little, and with me is... Mike Ellison. Uh, unfortunately, our regular contributor and valued teammate Ruben Acosta couldn't be here. Uh, he's fighting demons. Um, but in his stead, uh, we are blessed to have the two fantastic improvisers, uh, Michelle Petro and Tomas Lopez. It's pretty awesome. This is the first time we've had two guests at one time. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, and I think it's going to be a pretty fantastic show, so uh, buckle in your seatbelts and stay tuned. High school dance is such a weird thing, especially now because kids freak. And I'm not saying that... That, <laughs> that you that, go to dances now? That's why they're No, weird. well, but that's what they were, like, <laughs> cautioning us against, like... Oh, I'm sorry, Pedro. <laughs> when, when, uh, when we were going through high school, it was like, hey, don't freak, don't freak, and... You know, I, I thought, and it just seemed weird that, that the adults would set up this whole dance and then work really hard to tell you exactly how you wanted to dance, but also never teach us how to dance ever. So it's like, you have to do what we say. We're not going to teach you the right way to do it, but we're going to be punishing you if you fuck up. So you would be for teaching like ballroom dance again? Yeah, totally. As, P, as a PE course? Because like, I don't know, yeah. as, a, as a high schooler, I was definitely super uh, self-conscious and nervous like what i'm yeah. just gonna walk up to a girl that i think is pretty and stick my high school Check junk on her moves. high school junk yeah that's I, weird i feel you middle school was really awkward for me and what it, it was a halloween dance and i decided to be a, a motorcyclist and i wore <laughs> my dad's leather jacket and 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 i went to like a, a pretty high fee school in vallejo and uh like i just didn't get anything that was going on at the dance so I kept going to the, the locker room and taking off like my jacket and my shirt because I was so hot. It was like so hot <laughs> that day. And I was like, I, if I take off the, the leather jacket, they won't know I'm a motorcyclist. <laughs> <laughs> and then the whole point will be, what was even the point of coming to the dance? If they don't know who I yeah. am for Halloween, then why would I want, even want to be here? Yeah, we had, we had a mix of formal and costume dances. Um, and my sophomore year, I got homecoming, which was a formal dance, confused for a costume dance. So I dressed up as a pirate, and I was. The <laughs> I only bet you pirate. had the best time. At people were formal. supportive of me. People were yeah. like, "Really? That didn't matter at all." I was like, "I'm the only one fucking here in costume. This fucking sucks." Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, so it was. I, 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 my picture made it into the yearbook, and every sophomore go through it, Dang. and I'm like. Oh. I'm pretty sure there's only Fuck one me. picture of me in all four years of my <laughs> high school yearbook. Oh. Is it a good one? It's probably like the worst <laughs> backsiding. <laughs> yeah. All right, kids, uh, line up. Uh, okay. It's a uh, middle school dance, and uh, oh, yeah. Each one of you has your parent here. You guys are holding your uh, your your father or your mother's hand, right? Uh, oh yeah, 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 mom. This may seem this may seem rough uh, I, I, as your principal here. The, the you, your parents are going to teach you how to dance. That's uh, that's how this middle school dance is going to work. I, for one, think it's a wonderful idea. Or it's, you know, it's a great bonding time with our children before they get too old. Yes, Martha. Thanks for bringing yeah. the spinach dip as well. Absolutely. Your your son you know, Ted Gerald. is so handsome. Yeah, I, I can't wait to watch you dance. I'd, I'd like to take umbrage. Uh, sorry. These dances that you've got us teaching the kids, these are not the dances we grew up with. The, the, well, you, uh, you're not into the, the dancing. Well, I just I feel like these middle schoolers are a little too young to be learning the twerk. Yeah. And, Frank, and, I'm sorry if you're the only old-fashioned one here. Things change with the times, well, okay? I've been teaching my daughters what is contemporary, what will make them respected among their peers. I always I thought the swing dance was the, the choice dance of my generation. But the swing is old hat. These kids would riot if we try to do some 1950s bullshit up in well, here. Right, this is exactly what we were... It's either Drake or we get the fuck out of and here. Like, frankly... Well, we, what you brought your daughters to this dance in is appalling. They are wearing way What's too a, much clothes. It's a nice poodle we are skirt. Gonna, they're going to sweat wrong with this poodle so skirt. much. 13 and 14 year old girls should not wear bows in their hair. Oh, well, I, I don't believe that one bit. I just, you know, this is, this is, look, okay, ever since Jennifer's mother passed, I, I feel like it's my responsibility to make, you know, be both the mother and the father to her. And I just want to make sure that she's being taken care of. Thanks, Daddy. Uh, you're, well, you're, uh, you're a good kid, Jennifer. Yeah, well, thanks, Dad. Um, I, I hope my miniskirt's long enough since it's past my knees, just like you want it. 
Yep. Just right past those fingertips. All right, uh, parents. Uh, mm-hmm. So we're gonna show your kids how to shake their rumpa dump. All right. Uh, so grab them and uh, here we go. I'm gonna hit on the hip hop music. Here we go. Boom. Oh, there it is. Yo, slap those hoes around. Slap those hoes around. What is this music? This, uh, Frank, it's the music of our times. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Okay, at least who are these hoes that they're referring to? Timmy here. I was getting pretty bumping and grinding. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, he was. Timmy was having a good time. This is this is this is the music of their era. I know it's a little bit difficult for us older people to understand, but this is a love ballad. This is he's expressing his appreciation for his bay. Uh, Mr. Buentes, can I just stop you right there? Of course. Uh, I'm actually terrified of bumping and grinding. I. I don't know. I mean, I'm just here because my mom is like super stage mom and I got rhythm. You know, she Timmy. wants me to be something. Timmy, we all want you to be something. Now, I want this is what I want you to do. We're going to help you out, okay? I want you to grab my Samantha. I want you to grab her by her waist from behind without saying anything. Don't introduce yourself. Just grab her and start grinding all up on her. That's how kids dance these days. I'd, I'd, do it. I'd much rather be able to lift her in the air and then let her... Uh, pirouette away and then we do a foxtrot and then we jump on a bench and tap and then jump back down and like swing around some light posts together and then it starts raining and we have umbrellas and it just opens perfectly and after a while we stop and forget about the umbrellas and it's just raining and me and her are standing looking at each other just knowing that this moment we know a little bit more than we did before we started dancing. Oh, that's so romantic. That was beautiful. Mm, I'm disgusted. <laughs> what? That is that is revolting. What an antiquated notion of romance. Not you at all stop progressive. stop right there, Mr. Buentes. My son Timmy has a very romantic, beautiful mind. You know, and I, his body is going places. And I, okay? I'd like to set your son up with my daughter, Jennifer. He seems like a nice boy. Oh, daddy. She seems like a nice girl. Boy, that's... <laughs> my... Oh, daddy, I just want to make he's sure a little, He's a little androgynous. I'm sorry. I just, I... Jennifer's confused. I haven't chosen yet, as long as they pick me someone nice that wants to shake all over me. Well, if you haven't accepted modern dancing, at least you're not stuck up on gender binary, Frank. It's true, I'm not. I think everyone should be allowed to be their own person. As long as they're dancing appropriately. Uh, we cut to, uh, we cut to... A uh, blacksmithery, a blacksmithery, um, and there's an apprentice Ching. learning Ching. how to make his first horseshoe. Ching. Ching. That's right. That's right. Ching. Now, a couple hits on the left to tighten Ching. up the bow. Ching. Ching. Well done. Ching. Ching. I'll say, what a, that's a beautiful looking horse, <laughs> Bartholomew. Thank you, Gal- Galdrig. Hi. I've really enjoyed these last six months I've been apprenticing under you. I must say I was skeptical when my sister brought you to me, but mm. having never married, never had an opportunity for a son of my own, I, mm. this has meant something to me. <laughs> Ever since my parents died in a fiery wagon accident, I never thought that I'd find a way to, to go on living, but blacksmithery, you've taught me. No, it was so awful watching my sister, your mother, and, and her husband die in that accident. And ever since the steel mill came to town, I thought there was no way that this, this old family business would keep afloat. But the, the family narrative has really, really taken off in our town. And The townspeople all love my horseshoes. They've really rallied around us, mm. Bartholomew. It means, it means a lot to me. Now, uh... Why don't you go ahead and make us a railroad spike? In a jiff. Cut to the edges of town. Is, uh, two, two intrepid adventurers, they, they enter the town and notice something a little bit off about uh, the townspeople here. Wiley Steed, you see what I see. Yeah, it seems like uh, everybody here is m- married into their own family. <laughs> yeah, it seems sort of, sort of odd. Everybody... 
is holding hands and kissing and showing affection, but their their but facial structures seem so similar. Very similar. That yes. look at those two over there. Isn't that isn't that that man's nephew? Oh God, that's that that, that man is. is that his what nephew? A, uh, I'm, oh. I'm sorry, sir. Well, hello there, strangers. Oh, yeah, yes. Um, could you tell us just one thing? Is everyone in this town is. Uh, 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 attractive, I guess? Yes, 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 very much so. Okay. I'm glad that you noticed. As mayor of this town, Mayor Dennis, you can call me. Oh, just incidentally, none of us have last names. Oh, they were all the oh, same. That's... So we just decided to, okay, to be, so... be done with the whole tomfoolery. Ma- mayor Dennis, you obviously have a very... Uh, a chin that's very striking and, and one well, that can't you. be mixed with another person. And I see your beautiful wife next to you has... The same chin. I, I, I dare to ask, are you re- related to each other in any way? Yes. By the bonds of marriage and of deeper bonds still. God, it, okay, yeah. You're in love then. Very much so. Nor am I one oh. to interfere in love between two people. Uh, they went on their oh. way. Cut to 20 years. No, 100 years in the future. Uh, two, two intrepid young adventurers enter the same town a uh, hundred years later after decades of inbreeding. Does your inner eye scan see upon what I see? Yes, I'm getting <laughs> DNA readings, but they're all very mutated and, and off the charts. Good, good young boy, you there with the, the 16 eyeballs. What is it that you want? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. How did you, perchance, come across all those eyeballs? Well, my school bus hit a, a pothole that wasn't fixed in time, and it crashed Be and strong, ran Jimmy. into... Be strong, You can tell him. A, a big rig carrying nitrous chemicals, and, well... I, thought I was, was the gonna, only survivor. I thought she was going to say inbreeding. Yeah, I thought that was going to be it, but too. But it seems I, to be I, an <laughs> accident. Could you, could you... Was the bus... Did the bus driver hit the pothole because... Yeah, he, no, I'm, I'm actually an outlier in this, oh, okay. in this town. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I could see she looks much normal compared to the scans upon the rest of the town, actually. Yes. Yeah, I'm really cognizant versus You seem others. like you might be the normal one here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that guy over there, he's just... Roggle. Yeah, yeah. That's I don't know about if those are expected. Oh, Roggle? Say. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, Gro- That's his name. <laughs> yeah. I, I nickname him. <laughs> Roggle, Roggle. Oh, he has a mayor, a mayor sh- sash. Mayor, mayor Grovel. I think I have a solution for your town. You guys should give yourself last no, no. names. You would, wouldn't confuse those that are relatives to you and those that are. Loved ones. Oh. Hey, wait a second. I'm 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 Jim Jimmy with the sixteen eyes, and I, I don't want my town changing. Jimmy, just come here and sit on my knee. Um, um. <laughs> yeah, come come here and sit over on his knee. Um, yeah. yeah, come sit on our knee. Come um, sit on our knees. I'll stand by you. Okay. Can you Jimmy. stand in between us, Jimmy? Um. So, a town is much like a young boy, and it changes with time and. Mm-hmm. When it hits it maybe about 10 or 11 years old, a boy, say a town, 100 to 112 years. As he's telling the story, Giving different the eyeballs of, of Jimmy's keeps things. blinking. And relative to the place that you see is that any town can be mm. a real town if you're part of it. I'm not entirely sure where you're going with that either, buddy. <laughs> no, no, no. Groggle. Groggle, groggle. We no, cut to, <laughs> we cut to, um, to an NPR studio. Um, well, that was a really fantastic story. I, I, a real ter- tearjerker. I'm sure our audience is a really, it's really going to resonate with them. I do have a couple questions. Uh, you say you had a wife who died in, in the terror attacks in New York. It was very, very moving. But then... <laughs> Yes, 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 it's amazing how how lucid you are and how well understood you can make yourself. <laughs> You've overcome so much, so much. I'm sorry, I just, I, I just had a, 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 a quick question. If you could, um, 
Oh, God, my question seems so petty compared to what you've gone through. Uh, but if you could, if you could just uh, tell our audience uh, what it's been like uh, piecing your life back together after, after that, horrible, that horrible experience. What have, what have the past you know, 10, 10, 15 years of your life been like? Just a long, extended monologue. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. That was that was really something. Something it was amazing the how your community rallied around you and brought everybody together to really really give you a lease back on life again. <laughs> To your, uh, I just have a couple questions. Uh, you've remarried. You brought the wife that didn't die but. In, in the September 11th tax year. Well. Uh, and so I was just, I was just wondering, uh, uh, Casey, if you, uh, what was it like finding this man? Oh, well. Well, Gerald, thank you. Thank you for your input. Uh, I know it really, really cracks us up. <laughs> Definitely have a very interesting perspective. But I was wondering if maybe just for a second if Casey could talk about the, uh, about the experiences that she's, she's had. Yeah, it's been really tough on all of us here on, the, on uh, Manhattan. You know, really all the boroughs. Mm -hmm. It's been... Uh, It's just been an ordeal. What's it been like uh, re helping helping uh, Gerald reacquaint himself with life and overcome overcome the struggles, overcome the, uh, the, the, the 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 what was it like learning him to teach learning learning teaching it. him to speak again? Hmm. Well, he's he's quite the writer, let me tell you. Wow. He really is one with words. So uh, we write sonnets together, and that's how uh, we helped. Um, you know, get him to sounding out his sonnets. I was hoping if maybe you could perform one in duet. Well, we didn't Whoa. really prepare. I don't know. Please. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, you just happened to have brought a sonnet? Whoa. Whoa. Crinkle, crinkle. He produces a small piece of paper from his pocket. Sonnet 233. Sonnet 233. Whoa. That's what you sound like. That the first the first sentence is actually just those wor the words like the phonetic written word of how Jerry sounds. On the paper, it, 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 she's right. It literally just has it's like W A H H W W G F. It's really something else. It's really something else. I know. I know. There's one part in, in Sonnet Three where you two both sing together at the same time. I was. Wondering if maybe I thought we were here to promote uh, the charity. Uh, yes, we wow. <laughs> yes, mean, you you are. Uh, I'm well, sorry. I'm just a big fan, and I know I, we've been receiving a lot of calls. Uh, but you're right. You're right. Uh, we'll move off the, the the topic of of sonnets and instead turn to all of the money that you want from people. Yeah, let's just talk about that. Uh, Skip the human element. Get uh, down to brass tacks. The charity. Yeah. Yes, the charity that helps other mm. firefighters and families that are affected from the 9-11 attack, terrorist attacks. You got something to say, Gerald? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, someone at the door. Oh, hi, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm Gerald's translator. <laughs> oh, God, uh, I'm sorry, I'm so late. Wait, oh, 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 oh. oh, yeah, sorry, Gerald. Oh, oh. No, I understand, I understand. I apologize, Gerald. We can continue on with oh, the interview now. Gerald, do you ever had a translator this whole time? We've just been making up what we assumed you've been saying? You have. Well, okay. my wife knows exactly... My, uh, he says his wife knows exactly uh, what, uh, what he's saying. And you guys are the bigoted ones. There you have it, folks. Straight, <laughs> straight from the, the injured firefighter's mouth. NPR, home of bigots. Scene. <laughs> Hey, hey, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me to your party. I just, uh, 
I'm gonna pass around a couple of my business cards. Work has been a little slow lately, so uh, I'm gonna let all of all of your friends here know that if if they ever need somebody to touch up their risque photos, I can help out. Hey, buddy, oh. I'm trying to do laundry here. Can you just uh, leave me alone? I'm trying to. I I'm sorry. I thought this was the party on the on the in the. the... No, this is the laundry room of the oh. fifth floor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've done and messed up again. Just because there's more than three of us here doesn't make it a party. Well, listen. I I used to take photos and touch them up for Playboy. That work is now gone. There's a cooler and it's got like a couple beers on ice on top of one of the laundry machines. You brought you brought these beers with your business cards? Yes. Oh yeah, I'll take one. Okay. But I have to take a business card, I guess. Yes, I guess you have to fine. take a business card. I just want you to know all of you are very homely people. I can change that with my computer and with the angles that I work. I so Yes? I would just get out of here, but your beer is on top of my washer, and I can't I can't get my load. I can't change my load, and I just, that's all I want to do. I can sir. get you a load. I can get you my load of your load of I, photos, a load of I, photos. I, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> uh, I, I, I've been putting on a beer gut, though. So what, you can, you can yes. make me look better? Yes, this is what we can do. We can do a before and after setup. Oh, where yeah. we, uh, I'll be over your shoulder looking down at your body, and you won't be able to see your ding dong because your gut covers it up. Oh. And then I'll just Photoshop that out and maybe put on a new ding dong. And it'll be it'll so, be great. Oh, you have to see me naked. Uh, yes. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't sound right. Your women will love the naked photos that you send them if you let me do them for you. We cut to um, <clears throat> Mike's. Uh, Mike's about Mike's about to sleep with a girl uh, who he's been he's he uh, who he's been sexting for a couple weeks now. Oh hi hi. Oh yeah, babe. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh, here we go. You're doing this? You're taking my shirt off? Oh, yeah. Here, God. take that. Oh, just mm. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kiss him on my neck. Ooh, ooh yeah. Ooh, I can't hey. believe this has ooh, happened. I've never me met somebody those... over the internet. Oh, oh, ooh, oh. Oh, my. Ooh. What, 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 what's stopping you? Come on, come on. Um, I'm sorry. Right. It's just, um, I guess goods not as advertised would be the best <sighs> way to describe what I'm feeling right now. God, you're comparing this to the photos. Yeah, well, when you sent me your, your photos of your genitals, uh... They were big. yes, that's yeah. a good word, big, and it led me to believe that maybe you had something going on here, but you don't. Oh, I, if you have to put your hand on it, and then it gets bigger. It's it's I. Mm. Uh, no, it's uh, no. I, I I look at me. I'm like the photos. It's just you know, photos you're, gain ten pounds to it. You're like. <laughs> I would say that you're 10 pounds heavier than what your photo made you look like, if anything. Okay, okay. Photos gain 10 pounds in the dick and 20 pounds in the stomach. I, still, I think that your photo made you, if anything, I would say the photo took off 10 pounds. She pulls out the photo from her purse. Yeah, see. Oh, you're going to compare me to the photo. This is embarrassing. Yeah, see, okay, see now right here, you have a just a horrifying birthmark right above... Your the the base of your shaft. Where in this photo, it's clean shaven, and there's a six pack in this photo. Yeah, there's a six pack. We cut the... back to Mike and uh, the photographer. So you struck out, kid. Yeah, I didn't you struck out? I'm when sorry. When she to saw hear me that. without my clothes on, she said, "This is nothing like the photo, and you're a loser. Get out of my life." I understand. I understand. Well, it just so happens since uh, the whole industry's been shaken so hard by by Playboy getting rid of its nudies, I know a couple of makeup people. A couple of makeup okay. people. They can set you up. You can wear a strap on. You'll look me. Make me look and better in the real life. In. And blend it in, so it'll you look it'll look good in real life. Oh, shit, won't look perfect. Cause I love the photos; those are killing. Won't look perfect. It just sets you up. Cut to him again, about to get it in with this girl. Oh yeah, ooh, this is ooh, really ooh, 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 ooh. risky. Oh, ooh, oh chains. Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh 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 my god. Oh my god, your dick fell off of my hands. Oh no 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 no. Oh oh, what is this? Oh, what no, is no, this? That's, that's okay. That's a little bit of adhesive that makes. The tip look bigger. Uh, uh, oh, let me just mush oh it back uh, on. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna vomit. I think I'm gonna vomit. Cut back to him with the photographer. It did not work. I'm telling you, my wiener fell off. The clay mold oh, didn't did hold you, on. Did you try to use it? I did There's try to use problem. it. problem. You were just supposed to take off your clothes, have a look at you, and then both of you can get off by yourself. So I'm doing all of this for nothing, not to have sex at all. Not nothing. Not nothing. You look very good. Fortune. <laughs> Fortune. The word fortune. Come, come closer. Hmm? 
Come closer oh. into my tent. I'll read your fortune. Okay. I don't usually go for this sort of thing. But you feel compelled, don't you? Come sit. I do. Come, sit down. Come into my... Some nice cushions mm. you have in here. Thank, oh, thank you so much. Go have some tea? Oh, is that incense? Is that... Oh, it's a heady smell. You do not like oh, no, the it's smell just, I, of my uh, tent? Uh, your tent smells lovely. It's just... Uh, it helps. It helps. It helps with the fortunes. It, okay. I can see further into the future. I'm just very used to uh, like a cold AC smell. That's oh. where I spend, you know, air conditioning. I, yes. I lead a sheltered life. Oh, but that tea would be fantastic. It seems to me that this might change any day. Ooh. And the smell of fresh air will be a constant new friend in your life. Oh, this is exciting. Yes. I don't know why I haven't done this sooner. Uh, we cut to um, an office building. P- Peterson, get in here. What is it, boss? Peterson, uh, you're fired. Oh. Get your ass out on oh, the street. Jesus. Well. We, we cut back to the fortune teller. I'm certainly getting a lot of fresh well, air. Well, I knew you'd be back. Yeah, uh, I could use a little help if you could, you know, tell those. Mm. Sit down, sit down. Come on, sit down. Okay, okay, sorry. All I ask for is $50. Okay, well. Uh, the I have a fresh square. air thing definitely came true, so. Oh, you're a man with cash in hand. I had I to like close it. out my bank account. Thank you. 20, 40, 10. Perfect. Okay, okay. Let me see here. Nine. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to put my hands on your temples. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is too. I'm. I'm not sure if you should know. I'm not sure if you're just gonna leave me with an impending sense of dread. Fifty dollars dollars might not be enough for me to tell you how serious this is. Okay, okay, okay. You give you give me money, clip too. Am I gonna die? Let me count and see. Ten, twenty dollars. You're a man with lots of cash at hand. None of it's left in the bank anymore. The, the bank, I worked for the bank, and the bank had all my money, and they said when they fired me, close out your account. I would try, try to be more careful, young tra- new traveling man. About anything in particular? Should I watch out for something? Beware of the red coat and, red a, coat. and a purple shawl. Okay. Cut to the park. <laughs> oh. Hey, uh, sir? Jesus! Uh, okay, okay. Blue shawl, pink shorts. Just want to okay, make fine. sure you're careful watch, walking on the grass. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I do need to be careful. Thank you. Yes. I'll just take very gingerly steps across this lawn here. Yeah. Okay. 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 okay, that person is yellow. Yellow overalls. They're fine. Oh, hey. Uh, hey, how's it going there? Oh. The, from behind. Oh, hey, kiddo. Oh, I, I'm going to turn around really slowly. <laughs> when I turn around, you better not be wearing a red shawl and a blue coat. Purple shawl. Purple shawl. And red coat. And red coat. God, I guess that, that money's really working. <laughs> Jesus! Oh, uh, yeah. Well, this is exactly what I'm wearing. <laughs> How'd you know that? <laughs> I, I was <laughs> told. I was told by a fortune teller. Oh, a fortune teller. Hey, it wasn't that uh, Madam Swanee over on uh, 34th. The very same. Oh, my goodness gracious. She told me that I was going to end up killing someone today. <laughs> Jesus! I was like, I never wanted to kill anybody in my life, but... uh, <laughs> Well, you, you, you're going to kill me, aren't you? You're well, going to kill me. I mean, I don't know. You know I mean, what? Cut to the man in the red coat's fortune. Hey, uh, Madam Swanee, uh... Hey, that thing, the, the thing you said about not trusting that, uh, that photographer guy really paid off. What's your next fortune? I feel that uh, I want to tell you, you feel very open to the, f- the future. Uh, but the opening price is $60. Oh, 60 Well, that's a steep price, but you're... T- you're, you're I sure just... feel strong. Oh, okay. Fortunes. All right. All right. Towards you. So there you go. There's the sixty dollars. <laughs> All in fives. I see. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, four, 
40, 45, 50. That's all they had at the gas 55, station. 55, 60 dollars. That's all. That is that works for me. I'm going to put my hands on your temples. Oh, okay. And part way, my pinkies in your earlobes. Oh, oh. Norman. Oh, how'd you know my name? You're about to be a very bad boy. Oh. Murder. Beware of this pale man with a pocket protector. We cut back to the park. This is fate, man. There's no escaping it. It's fate. So take this knife. Take this knife. Listen, man, I don't want, I want to... Do... you to, I want you to kill me, man. It's fate. I don't want to do this, but... You're, you're right. I mean, Madam Swanee, she's never wrong. How would we have met if it wasn't for fate? Just, that's right. I'm going to help you out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cup your hand. Okay. I'm cup your hand. Okay. And I'm just going to plunge okay. it into my beating heart. Oh, God, you're pulling, you're pulling my hand towards your heart now. Ah, 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 I feel fate. I feel fate. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Oh, with my last, with my last breath, give... All of my money and my children's college tuition to the madam. To, wait, to madam what? To madam what? <laughs> he didn't finish what he was going to say. Cut back to the fortune teller. So my cheating husband, mm. I want him yes. off. And he okay. is just not a smart guy at all. And I think, gal, you and me, we can take care of him. You know mm. what I mean? Luckily, my specialty is assassination. Uh, thank you. Yes, working in KBG has made it so it's very easy to murder someone without using your own hands. Perfect. Here's my money clip. Please kill my shitty husband. I love when it bounces over to me <laughs> and my hands. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2. You are a woman who carries lots of cash in hands. Uh, thank you. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> Guesting. 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 Yeah, I want to thank uh, Tomas for coming in today. Hey. And for Michelle. Of course. It's so great to have some guests on the show. It was super fun to be here. Yeah. It was. I had a good time. Anything yeah. you guys want to plug in? Yes. If you like other funny podcasty things, uh, I'm on this little ditty called The Potato Bureau, and we're on SoundCloud and iTunes. It's really great. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. It's a, we, we get a live usually local musician because we're a local comedy club and uh, we do some improv based off of that yeah very fun yeah super rad uh, yeah um, as always Wednesday Herald Nights every Wednesday at the Comedy Spot at 8 mm-hmm. um, look out for Cruise Control Tom Cruise Control uh, it's a new podcast that's starting up eventually <laughs> as soon as the episodes are edited <laughs> and then uh is that really is that the name of your podcast? Yeah, it's me and Michael Russ's podcast. Oh my God. Nice. We're watching every Tom Cruise movie, and then reviewing them. I guess discussing them. You're having your own like commentary, director's commentary. Well, the, we're not watching them on the air. Oh. We're watching them and talking about them oh, okay. afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Potato Bureau, check out that an mm-hmm. awesome music related improv podcast, and uh, be on the lookout for Tomas's podcast. Tom Cruise control eventually. Tom, <laughs> Tom Cruise control eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll have uh, uh, links to their to their episodes, so so check check that oh, out. That's so nice. Goodbye. <laughs>